boom, because now niggas know I'm official. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on my mother's dick. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. On my dick. Yo, welcome back to Real Shit right now. As usual, I'm Baz motherfucking Hazy. I forgot my name. Is it starting? Yeah, we're starting. And I'm CY. <laughs> Amazing. And today we have our guest on, um, longtime friend, known as ASK. What's up, y'all? Do you uh, just go by ASK, ASK or do you or do you like pronounce it as ASK? No. no uh, goes by King. Neither, actually. I just go, I mean, you could call me King, no lie. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I say ASK because that's, that's just my stage name. So yeah. ASK? ASK. ASK. Like an AK. So you just got to pronounce the whole thing. You say ask. Yeah. Yeah. Ask. Ask. All right. Let's go. Let's go. So let's we're going to get into this. We're going to start uh, painting and shit. I'm going to do the small. I want this This one. is yours or mine? Um, I think I picked that one. All right. Yeah, no, let me get this yeah. one. So we get to paint like whatever we want. Paint whatever yeah, you yeah. want. Damn. Damn. The, but, you know what I'm saying? But see why has to paint a dolphin. I'm not painting a fucking dolphin. I'm joking, bro. I'm joking. I'm I'm painting I haven't painted. hostility. I haven't painted in like years, to be real. Like, All right, very, so, very you know, you just wet your brush. This is acrylic, so you don't have to wet the brush every single time like you do with uh, watercolors. Mm -hmm. It's just only if it gets dry. But you can just use the paints to paint. Okay. I'm and just, just rinse it off once you want to get a new paint. Gotcha. I'm just going to so go with, the flow with it, to be honest. Okay, okay. That's what's up, bro. But um, tell us why you started getting into music, bro. Um, I started getting more into music around, like, freshman year of high school. Mm -hmm. um, I was driving up to Nova, actually, and I was texting my brother, and I was like, damn, like, there's not that many impactful people in the rap game, in a mm -hmm. sense. And I was realized, I was like, let me, oh, thank you. <laughs> I realized, I was like, I want to make that, that impact. I want to have, I want to start having that voice. And so I just started making music. And at first people were clowning me for it. And like, that's typical. But then I just realized like, this is truly what I want to do. And it just made me happy knowing people were like listening, just like yeah. taking into account what I was saying and stuff. It made me feel important in a sense. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you play any sports in high school or anything? Uh, crazy enough, I played. Uh, <laughs> I played um tennis. <laughs> so out of all, oh, out of all so things, he said tennis. No, though. yeah, sophomore year. Of high <laughs> <laughs> sophomore year of high school, I played tennis for a year. It got me more into fitness because I never really worked out. So and you then, like dope? At f are you dope? Are you like good at tennis? I'm like because we got tennis rackets, bro. Yeah, for we real? got tennis rackets. Dead we got ass, tennis hey, court. Let's play a match real quick. I know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you got any tennis balls. You got any tennis balls? I don't know if we can go down to Nova right now, though. Shit. Nah, I mean, we got one at my spot. I got tennis. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got tennis balls? I put a, I put a dollar up, you know what I mean? I'll, you know, it, it knows I don't tax know. season. It I don't is, know what that is, is means. Is there even a, a, a tennis court around here? Right, right now. Like, no, this is like five. No, yeah, but I used to play. Like, my sister like would make me want to play with her and stuff. It's fun. But I got more into fitness because of that. So that, that, was, that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Right, and I see that you're big on like, uh, you know, what I'm saying energies and yeah, positive, yeah, positive, positive energies, energies, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, what what made you go into that? Like, what opened your eyes? Um, Did you have the awakening? To be honest, I think you know what was it in Kingdom Hearts where it's like the power of waking. Yeah. I, I I when I was playing that game and like when it said that, oh. I wanted to cry because like that shit hit home, and I was like, yo, that happened to me like my freshman year of college. Because like to be honest, all I was doing was like I was just smoking. I didn't really go to class as much, and I realized I was like, I was my life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and like I just that's all I was doing, and I never really took the time to understand like why I was feeling the way I was feeling, and so I realized like I was like, dang, I'm the one holding me back, and it's like literally the things you project out is the things you're gonna get right back. I hundred percent believe hey, that. That's, that's facts, like a hundred percent believe that, and so like I think I don't even know what I'm painting, but it's it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it just made me realize, I was like, you know what, let me change how my attitude is and let me just, like, really make a voice, not only for myself, but for people that feel, like, helpless that I used to feel like, too. Because I know how I used to feel like that, and I want to make sure people, want to make sure people, like, know that they have their worth and that yeah. they're they're special. Yeah, you talk about a lot that of people albums, lives, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I really enjoyed your album, especially, like, Summertime. It's yeah. Summertime? Summer. Summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Summer, bruh. That Very jump song. crank, bruh. Like... Even with the review, I was uh, I was listening to that joint. I woke up this morning in the shower. I was singing that joint a little bit. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna dancing lie. With my you were dancing. <laughs> you were pretending you were a nah, step up. Nah, bro. I was, was a step nah, up. Brother. The rain dancing yeah, in nah, the shower. <laughs> it wasn't even that part that hit me. Is when he broke it down. Da -da 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 
Yeah, yeah, but that yeah. part was like, yo, hey, that's wavy. It's, I'm, it's a I'm lot off of fun. melodies, bro. I'm no, off yeah, of melodies. I uh, it was during the summertime before my sophomore year of uh, college, mm -hmm. and I was with this guy named Caleb Ortiz. Shout out Caleb Ortiz. Shout out Caleb. Um, he has a studio in like. I wasn't going to many studios, but I was just like, let me go to like that's your a, spot. That, yeah, it's kind of like my spot for that for that time being. And I was like, all right, cool. Let me just like get his vibe and how it is. And like, he's really like genuine. And so like, anytime I was doing a song, like the way I envisioned it, like it kept getting better and better every time I was going. And so with summer, like I was at first, I was feeling, but I was like, it needs something extra. And he was like, add like like vocals in the background, like the. Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, and I was like, all right, cool, and I did, and like it just boosted it like crazy. You always need that one homie's input to boost a song to like its maximum potential. That's hundred percent facts, because that's why I like going to the studio with like people that are like minded, because without it, it's like, you know, you can't really. I mean, you can do a lot, but it's always helpful to have others as well. Hell yeah. So y'all know what that means. So all y'all people that come to the studio just to smoke and like stare, you take stay your ass home. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, got time yeah. For we that. don't need that. We don't need that. <laughs> Boy. Nah, boy. But, but if you supply in the pack, then we need I mean, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a plug, then that's no problem. I don't mind. You know I mean? No, no, no. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all some niggas. Y'all some niggas. <laughs> I swear. Y'all can come through right now, actually. <laughs> no, yeah. All right, bro. So there was one thing you sent us, and he was talking about this story about a, a summer pool party, and there was something like very shocking <laughs> that left you speechless. <laughs> I got to know about this. What the fuck happened, bro? All right. So, all right. So, boom. You know, this was the summer before my freshman year in college. And yeah. so um, we had this pool party hosted by a guy named Van Soak. Shout out Van Soak. Dope dude. He puts, like, people on for, like, like smaller artists. Like, His name's on. what? Van Soak. You sound like a rich name, bro. Shout out you, man. <laughs> Holla me. No, yeah, but he was Is hosting. He Asian? Nah, he's actually white, bro. Oh. No, yeah, so um, he was. He's got the bands. <laughs> he was basically name, like, helping soap. people out, and so we had this show at this pool party, and it was me, uh, my friend Asa, and my friend Joey Asterix, and we're performing and stuff, and like we're just chilling before the performance and stuff, and so a lot of a lot of people came in, and it was like the what was it Alpha Choices were like guys, you know, just wear like what you what you wear to a pool and girls wear to a pool and like i wasn't really expecting no one to do that but like a lot of girls pulled up with that and i was like all right cool it was it was a like it was a cool vibe and so like out of nowhere right and i swear i thought i was high or something this dude comes in with his girlfriend no lie has her on a leash he Ooh. has her on a leash my nigga right shout out to that dude no. that's, that's a style that we doing <laughs> that's my type of shit and I was so confused. I was like, yo, y'all see that? And they're like, yeah, bro. And like we're like bugging. And so he like any time that she would talk, he would like pull the leash to make her shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm not on that. But I'm and like you know, it was mad crazy. Shout out to that man. And I was like, yo, what kind of <laughs> what kind of level of clout do you have in order to do that? Like that was that was crazy to me. And after that, I was like, damn, this is this Get is even, I'm, not, I'm not even like what was I was not even, not even 20 yet. And like I've seen something that's wild. Hey, I, I, to be honest, I've seen a couple people do that to their kids in the mall, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen this shit since I was like eight. Like kids on leashes. Hey, hey, we calling out you type of parents, man. Hey, hey, guys, watch. This is what happens. You put your kid on a leash as a kid, they stay on a leash as an adult. Damn. Facts. <laughs> Stamped. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it, it was a crazy experience, man. It was super, super. Crazy. It was so. What about the forest party? That was the forest party. Oh no, no, the forest party was in college. That was freshman year of college. Oh, all right. So <laughs> <laughs> everything happens in college. All right. So we, uh, it was one one weekend or something like that. And like, you know, like your freshman year, like you kind of just hang around people that you live around. Yeah. And so that's how it was. And like, I just came back from class and I was just chilling. And for some reason, all the white girls in my hall kept hitting me up like, yo, do you know any parties? Do you know any parties or any party? I was like, bro, I'm so antisocial. Why would you think I know? Because they got to find coke somewhere, bro. Hit up every single person you know. Facts, like, bro. Do you know where we can snort? <laughs> nah, but. <laughs> but they were right here? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, they, they kept hitting me up. And I was like, bro, I don't know. My This uh this dude named Jacoby. Now, Jacoby, like, he's a he dope. Black? Yeah, he's black. Oh, black. man. Jacoby's dope, but like. Of course he, he's black. What the yeah, fuck you mean? Jacoby. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Jacoby, he's like, he's antisocial as well. So, when he told me there was a party, I was kind of confused. But I was like, all right, cool. So, it was, I pulled, I got an Uber, and it was me and like six other white girls. And we go, and it's like deep in this forest. And like, mind you, it's one black guy. Did you already see Get Out? 
Yeah. Why'd you time. go? I didn't know it was in the forest. That's okay, the okay. You got but kidnapped. In a I sense. was getting kidnapped at that age too. It was crazy. And so we pull up and we're like, what the fuck? And then the guy was like, oh no, it's in this like this shed. And so we go in there and like it's the weirdest party I've ever been to because literally there's a girl with a tail on. Um, okay. Everyone. I mean, I mean, we throw parties like that. You're weird. <laughs> I mean, it was one of our members that happened to be, you know, hosting with us. You know, she liked to wear certain things. Oh, oh, okay. My bad. I apologize. Yeah, she put the tail right in her butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I then. So uh, people are like, they're like either cooked up or like they're on like, I think someone was on like shrooms or acid or some shit. Oh, it's lit lit. No, it, it was crazy. And so um, I literally do not know what I'm painting, but I like it. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, it was going on and like I <laughs> there like I was asking because I was like, dang, I don't even drink. I smoke. And so I was like, all right, like where where can yeah, I get high? Pack. Yeah, where the pack at? Where and so like seven white dudes are like, oh, yeah, man, I can smoke you. And I was like, wow, it's this kind of party. Like, yeah, it's always I'm, nice. I'm getting smoked out. OK, cool. And so like me and my roommate were uh, he came by. And so we got high and like that was the highest I have ever been in my life. Like crazy. Like we were like. Like, he had to sit down. He was just like this for, like, 20 minutes. He was just like, I, I, I can't do anything. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what was it laced with? No, it wasn't laced with anything. Oh. Luckily. Oh. Because, you know, yeah, some, yeah. sometimes they be tripping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so we go back inside, and we see some black people from our school. And we're like, oh, what's up? We start talking to them. And then, like, the police supposedly are coming, but they don't. They just want to kick people out. Yeah. And, like. You know it, how that shit go. No, yeah. It, it was just. It's, it's stay, stay, stay. It the police! Just, <laughs> stay, relax. Stay. No, the junk, no, the motherfuckers. The police! Please, shut the fuck up. Sit down, man. Because we're black. Because, like, immediately, if you hear cops, you want to just dip. Yeah, you want to get out. Yeah, and, yeah and they wanted to have an orgy, and, like, you were in the way. I was not feeling that. <laughs> <laughs> I was not feeling it. But, yeah, that that's what happened. And uh, I will never forget that. That, was, that experience was crazy, but I will never forget that. That was fun. Okay, speaking of experiences and shit. So, uh, what was, like, what was like one of those big moments that you accomplished that was like super significant to you in like your career already at this mm. stage? Because you're already talking about everything you're going to and you're like, you've never seen this type of shit. And we, so you and must we, have some big moments. And we saw the sold out show, you know what I'm saying? On the on the Instagram, you know what I mean? Everybody in the crowd, you was rocking it, man. Oh, no, yeah. That, that, that was that was a fashion show and that was oh, really... Oh, wow. That was a lot of fun, though. That oh, was wow. a, lot, a lot of fun. You killed that shit, bro. Thank you. Like, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous as hell at that. Shit. Um, I think one of the biggest accomplishments of my life... Um, damn, that's crazy. Um, it might have been either that because that was like the first like big or second time that was big at like on campus or when I um opened up for Daniel Caesar at my school because because oh. because he, he, he came last year and so you're like there's performers for Mason Day and like they told me I can do it and so I was like bet oh, this shit. is fun did you meet him no I wish that would have been crazy I would have cried I <laughs> mean it's beautiful he said when I get you. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah that because that, that, like it's just the energy on stage and stuff is like it's so different than like when you're in person because it's like you have total control of how the crowd feels yeah and like you you can you know when the crowd's like like feeling you if they're not feeling you depending on how you feel if you about to bring up like that crazy energy they're gonna bring out that crazy energy and you just keep going it from there hell yeah that's just all love too yeah 100 percent. straight vibe i love it um you said um, before we we started the show. You said you're gonna um, drop another album in like next two three years. Yeah. Um, you want to? I know you want to perfect it. So how long does it usually take to for you to record a song? Uh, to record a song, um, like to finish it entirely, or like just yeah. Get the raw if, like you want to do like a single and you want to drop it, how mm -hmm. long? Is, how how long is your fans gonna have to wait for that? Uh, right now I'm gonna do a basis of like dropping a single like once a month. Mm -hmm. So my next single, not saying the name, but it's going to be catchy as hell. Um, anytime I make a song that I need to record, it may take like two days, which is like the first day, get all the vocals you need. And then second day, go back, maybe edit some things and then like um, mix it in. Mm -hmm. And that's usually how long it takes. And I just have it like under wraps. And then if I do want to edit anything back, I'll just go back and just edit it again. I just go to different studios and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, though. I, I, I like the process and like. Now that I have my studio, like, I know I'm going to be, like, very, like... Oh, so you got your own studio now? Now I do, yeah. Oh, nice. And so nice. now, like, I'm going to be, like, locked in type shit, where, like, <laughs> okay. I'm just, like, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to make music. Do you, think, do you think engineers get mad? Like, barber, like barbershop people get mad? Like, barbers, when they be like, 
when they let other people cut your hair. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, you feel yeah. like engineers are like, yo, who makes yeah, that shit? No, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, 100% <laughs> they do. My barber was saying like, yo, okay, so I see that new that new haircut you just did. And you say, you don't need me anymore, huh? And I was, you was acting real jealous. And I cut my own hair. <laughs> and this nigga's my uncle. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> your own uncle was very, very salty, sir. He's about to fade me, bro. He's like, run the Literally. fade, boy. He's like, you cut your own hair? How dare you? He said, run the fade. Got the clippers on. He said, who you lip- seeing? Stop lying. You ain't do it. I did it myself. Stop I, lying. I, I, did, I, did, <laughs> I did this. I did it. <laughs> See, I, I, ain't get back, I get the back just right. You see, I get, he said, oh, yeah, you did it. If you was a bar, this was the easiest part. He said, good job, nephew. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, man. Everybody got that weird uncle's. Hey, shout out. Hey, I don't got no weird uncles, though. You know what I mean? What? I got some fun uncles. <laughs> I, I got some fun uncles. It's, it's nice, you know? He said it's nice, you know? <laughs> They're fun to hang around. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, do you feel like... Uh, how, how's the female fan base right now with your music, man? Do you feel like it's going crazy ever since you dropped the project? Like, uh, are they in your DMs blowing you up? I know you said something. You, you said you have a girlfriend. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But does she get jealous a little bit when she sees the girls, like... Reciting your songs or whatever. Nah. Did she say block them as soon as they post? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> Man, they oh, see nah. my life. <laughs> nah, nah, bro. Nah. Did she just my post your song? Life. Block her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. Nah, if I had a girlfriend like that, she wouldn't be my girlfriend, number one. <laughs> I, I don't like jealous girls. I mean, don't get me wrong. You have to have some kind of jealousy yeah. in a relationship. Um, but, like, when it gets to the point where, like, it gets, you told me to block people, nah. But in terms Man. of my female fan base. He's stronger than me. What do you mean? What? What do you mean? <laughs> hey, this, is, this ain't my interview. This is your it's interview. <laughs> no, I, I uh, think I said it enough. You stronger than me. <laughs> no, but um, it's it's not. I mean, like my female fan base, like yeah, I rock with them. Like they rock with me. It's nice, but it's not anything like oh, I got the clout kind of thing. It's just like they'll like they'll love sing my song, and you know it's cool, and that's it really. But I, I, it's nothing like hard where girls like oh, I want to. Insert here a bunch of stuff. Nah, it's something like that. Cause like I, I, I don't do that kind of stuff. Oh, respect, man, respect. Yeah. Hey, ladies, respect he's them. loyal, right? Leave him alone. You got a yeah. girl. Yeah. Hey, but plays music though. But just leave him alone that way. Yeah, you know leave him yeah. alone. Plus, I just be chilling. Like I don't, I don't got to ask his girl to permission it. first. For what? What? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. <up. laughs> <He's so> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. On to the next question. So, which uh-huh. hurdles did you personally face, and how did you overcome them? <laughs> the transition of that—that that, that was crazy. Um. Let's see. Some personal things. I had to realize I am a douchebag at times. Uh, I am manipulative, and I. Am conceited slash pretentious. Hey, so like it happens. It happens. Like, yeah, it happens. And like I realized I'm like I'm not that and I don't know a lot about myself. But like I just took the chance of like instead of victimizing myself so much. It's accepting it. Yeah, just accepting who I am. And it's like, hey man, like if you don't like that, all right, cool. Like I have flaws. I'm not the perfect person. Like I'm learning by myself every single day. Yeah. So it's like you you can't get mad at me for that. <laughs> so it's yeah, like I saw you online, man. You're like, yo, this picture right here, oh, that's yeah, the old yeah. me. This is I'm don't don't, don't ask, ask me about me, that but, nigga. Yeah. All right. If you ask me, oh, I'm gonna yeah. burn your house down. I was like, damn, right. relax. All right. Damn, I, I ain't say that. Damn. I ain't say that. But you heard it right here first, I'm real sure. <laughs> oh man. No, uh it was What made you wake up and like, yo, man, I need a change. Um, I realized when I was like getting away from my family a lot and I wasn't like talking to them as much kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so I, I decided I was like, man, I, and plus like I was having so much negative shit like just happen in my life. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, fuck it. Like school's I, stressful too, man. Yeah. Sc- man, man school shit, is super, shit super shit stressful. Crazy. It gets to you. And so I was like, nah, I need to like just change who I am. And it's crazy because like literally for the better. Oh my bad. No, go ahead, man. Uh, you know, I'm getting um, some water. For the better, like. I was talking to some people like yesterday at some events and like they didn't realize it was me from last year because I cut my hair and all that stuff and like I'm a completely different person. And so like all what happened last year, it's like, man, if if I did anybody wrong, like I apologize. You know what I'm saying? Hey, me too. Like I, I don't shit. We all confessing, me too. Yo, hey. Stop. Stop, bro. His interview. Stop, bro. His interview. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That, it wasn't, supposed to, it wasn't supposed to go down that way. <laughs> no, yeah. Y'all know who you are. 
Damn, so I'm going deep. <laughs> no, yeah, but it, it's super important to just admit your wrongs because, like, if you don't, then you're just going to live in this life of just lies, to be real. Hey, facts, though. Facts, Man, though. for real, bro. It's crazy. All right, so next question. What's good? So who are your role models and why? My role models and why? I don't even know what I'm painting, but it's it's like... It's okay, bro. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yeah, I like Let's yours. Keep swimming. Yours is nice. Mine's just abstract. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, my abstract. role models currently would be one my brother because he's like a big bro to me. Like he really like he just tells me like stuff for the future like I should know about. He, he's really a big bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's like literally like in my blood. Okay, okay. Um, and so he just teaches me a lot about myself. Like, cause like literally like we go through the same experiences. Like he'll tell me like, oh yeah, freshman year of college, this what happened to me, and I was like, that's what happened to me. And like it just goes back and forth. And like he always just gives me advice, and I give him advice sometimes too. So it's just it's good like insight. And then uh, my mom too. I knew you were about to say you shout out your mom. Yeah, shout out my mom. Yeah, love you. Um, because she she literally taught me like the foundation of like don't don't do anything for other people do it for yourself and your family because that's what's most important like no one's going to hold you down more than your family like Facts. regardless of who you think is going to hold on they're not. they're not so it's ever. like your family is always going to be there for you even if you might think they're not they always will be so it's like just make sure to stay in contact even if it's like a, a small call like once a week kind of thing like just make make sure to stay in contact so like that's the best advice shout out to mom yeah shout out to mom um so yeah i love her for that so it I have a lot of other role models, but like those are like my main, main two. All right, we got to hear this story before we wrap up. So, how did you almost die overseas? And how did you get scammed by this car artist? Uh, so, I was in Turkey. I was traveling with my family, and we were look, we're trying to find a different place to stay at, on, the, on like the one of the. How the fuck did you end up in Turkey? I was just traveling. We were traveling to like different places. And so, we went there. Um, and you said, let's go to the one that sounds like food. <laughs> <laughs> and so we went there it was fun and like i went to go to sleep because i was super tired from the whole day and my sister and my brother went out and they're like oh we left you some money like go ahead and get some food i was all right cool so i went and i got stopped by this guy oh it was, i was like 17 maybe yeah and they stopped me and he stopped me he was like oh you want to like go to a club you want to party in my head i was like nah but at the same time i was like oh i'm kind of interested at in what it is in turkey because i'm in a different country you know like i, I want to see what it's like oh and, you probably kidnapped you and so I went in, and it was the sketchiest place ever. Like, you sit down, and it's you and him, only guys. The rest are just girls just, like, sitting there at different places. I'm just like, okay, that's weird. And then one girl sits next to him, one girl sits next to me. And then she's like, oh, buy me a drink. And I'm like, no. And instantly I was like, oh, damn, I kind of regret this. <laughs> like, I'm about to die. And so they basically try to like finesse me out of like 350 US dollars. Oh, wow. Damn. Anything, right? And I was like, yo. And I literally, I was, so, I was like, bro, I don't have any. Like, I didn't have any money. I was like, bro, I don't have money. I don't have anything. Like, I'm just here, like, to like travel kind of thing. And like, the con artist kind of got like, he kind of felt bad for me, I think. And he's like, just let him go. Like, they were gripping me. Like, they were like holding me, like, hostage kind of thing. Oh, no. uh, yeah. You like, about to get your kidneys. I, I, bro, I was about to get like killed. And I was, and then they let me go. And I ran. I ran. And like I told the the front desk person at the, the they're part of saying, it. No, no, no. And she, and she <laughs> he said they part they're of part it. of it. <laughs> no, and then she finished the story for like me before I can. Movie. She finished the story before I can finish it to her, and then she was telling like, yeah, like most people don't come back after that happens to them. And like that was an eye opener too. I was like, damn, damn bro, you almost died, died. I, I almost, I almost died, died. And I was like, bro, God was really looking out for me. Like that was, that was some crazy stuff. But yeah, like it also taught me a lesson. Like, don't go to clubs. Don't talk to people you don't really know, <laughs> or even try to do anything overseas without like having someone next to you, kind of thing. Shit, man. And um, can anybody expect any um, any more videos from this project from you? Of of the chakra. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm releasing a music video with Arcani, a uh, dopest videographer in Richmond. I'm not saying which song, but it's gonna be a good song. It's going to be a good visual. Y'all hear that? Get ready. Yeah. Hey, ladies, remember Axe. Ask. Axe ask for permission. You know what I'm saying? To play his music. <laughs> you can play my music whenever. <laughs> it's fine. You know? Keep it cordial with me. It's all good. Oh, shit. I just want to tell y'all I'm sorry, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stop, bro. <laughs> all right, sorry, all right. mama. <laughs> Are there any last uh, plugs or anything you want to add before we wrap up? Follow me on all social medias at King Kalafala. That's K-H-A-L-A-F-A-L-L-A. You pronounce it as Kalafala? Yeah. 
I thought it was Khalifa. I'm no, done. no, no. I'm done. Kalafala. <laughs> no, I peeped when you said that, and I was just geeking. <laughs> yo, yo, my whole life a lie. I mean, yeah, everyone's life is a lie. Yeah, it is. It's a simulation. All right. That said, this has been an episode of Real Shit right now. As usual, I'm Vaz motherfucking Hazen. And I'm CY Amazing. None of our paintings are finished. And my name is ASK. <laughs> Fine. I'm going to show it. Mine's some ass. Let me show my own. Mine is complete ass. Shit. I literally, I was just like, I wasn't thinking of anything. I was just, oh, whatever. Bruh. Nah, I've seen a guy come in here. Ass, bro. You can't have that type of energy. Remember, we're positive. No, no, no. no, no. Positive. I'm, I'm not saying like, okay, like, I'm not like. In, in a negative way. Yeah, not in a negative way. I'm just like, it's, it wasn't like. Bruh, it's one of the things you like turn to the side. It's like a face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eyebrows. You, know, you turn it this way. It's somebody driving a car. Oh, yeah. It's whatever you want to I was just painting. Yeah. I was just like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. He started doing that. It's some ass. We're going to let you accept it. I, 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 I just doodled. Hey, the penguins are coming for his ass tonight, uh, yo. You got some cameras, bro. You got some cameras. <laughs> 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 yeah. Actually, that looks like some, like, uh, you know, Marauders type shit. Marauders? Like, you know, Midnight Marauders? Like, uh, nah. the fucking, uh, what's that one rap group back in the 90s? A lot of rap groups are in the 90s. Nah. Marauders. Fuck it. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about either. Shit. They're such an old group. Fuck the 90s. Fuck 90s, bro. All right. Need ass. Yo, bro, what the fuck is this? Is that like it's a human? Like a little big planet, little... This is a that's penguin. A, that's a man penguin. <laughs> I, a I penguin? think what you should have done was made the outside blue and the inside pink. Yeah, that's a man. It's a, <laughs> he needs some it's, ass. It's, <laughs> he needs... That dude needs some ass. It's one of those. I like uh, yours a lot. This is a Van Gogh piece. It's a. Uh, a what? Van Gogh. Oh, my man's Van Gogh. Yeah, it's not finished. I gotta add in some more colors, but you know, we out here doing shit, making it pop and pop and lock and twerk on, on 2019. So you know, big coochie sweaters. Yeah. Um, I I don't know how to explain mine. <laughs> uh, this is just I was just doodling while they were talking because it's just like you know I was into the conversation so. Um, pretty colors. <laughs> this right here is an albino penguin, very rare. It's oh, in the Antarctica. Because it's albino, Bruh, albino penguins global penguins. warming, my nigga. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> need ass because they don't need snow anymore. He needs ass. He needs, it. he needs to relieve the stress. Yeah, it's stress of his environment. Look at his hands. He's ready to fly into some pussy. Real shit right now. Okay. Are those lightning storms you want? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's storm because of global warming.